head back. Oh, frick. Well, they're going straight into it. Uh. Dang, no button check. Nope. Dude, they are going in already. So what's uh? So how does this game even play? Uh, think of it like baseball and dodgeball kind of put together. Your your goal is to hit that ball as fast as possible to get the other person to get hit by. It. And there's a lot there's like a lot of like other little tech stuff in between. Can you? You can like. Can you hit the other person while they're trying to do the thing? I don't think so. I actually don't even know if you can like hit people directly. But there's like different techniques, like bunting the ball, making it pop up. You can grab the ball. There's like a little parry you can do on the ball too. Just like once you hit it. And as you see, the more they hit it, the faster and faster it gets. And there's like mind games too, because you can point the direct, you, well you can alter the direction that you hit the ball in. And every character also has their own abilities. It's anime, anime baseball dodgeball. I do like your anime, except for its mechanics. You do like your anime and its mechanics. See, now we're getting into the... This is actual danger time. Oh, I think yeah, that was a parry. Nice. Feel to hear danger time? That's basically the equivalent of it, yes. And this is a grand final, so this is a first to three. But so far, Braven... Uh, looking to... Wait, what do they call it? JV6? Uh, in Smash Against the JV6? Jinkies, alrighty. Oh, like I would like to see another iteration of Danger Time. Oh, never mind. That was just a five stock. Okay. Wait, what? I would like to see it. Would have liked to see another iteration of Danger Time, but like more, more balanced without actually getting. Rid of so you just want to play Phantom Breaker Omni? Is what you're saying? <laughs> That's literally what tension is. So go ahead and play Omni. <laughs> uh, I'd rather die than play that game. Dang. Wait. What's I'm guessing he missed the hit, because I think it was the same side that he was facing. But Raven on his patented random select. What even happened? He's getting hit so fast, I can't even see what's happening. Oh, dang, he missed all that scary. Nice, got the hit. Which direction was not ready. Then again, no one's reacting to that. What do you mean? Just react. Yeah, says the guilty. In fact, Guilty Gear players would be perfect for this game because they would absolutely love to downplay the reality that you're not reacting to <laughs> some of what's happening here. You're making a guess. There's no guesses. You're doing everything on reaction. Just react, man. Oh my god. <laughs> it's all reactive. You just gotta be prepared. Oh, so you reacted to that? You saw that? Yeah, I reacted. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm telling a uh, pun. <laughs> <laughs> Says the person who can't win, win against me. In. And what? Nice hit there. Got the hit. See, th this is the main thing that's quote unquote reactable is this startup point of where you choose what to do. But once the ball is going. You are fighting for your life, trying to get a feel for the angle of what uh, direction you need to cover. Yeah, just react. Wait, what's... What? But what's the way to disengage from the situation? Because... But you have to hit... You have to hit the ball eventually. <laughs> Just watch angles when it's at 5,000 plus feet. So you need to look at where it's charging up and think about the three possible angles. So yeah, just react. Wait, that's not even reacting, that's still guessing. I mean, okay, so that's there. not a guess then. 
mean, there's still some level of guess we need to do. It's the fighting of the world. We're still going to be playing fight. You're yeah, that's, that's technically an option select, actually. <laughs> See, that's that's actually cool then. Dude, I think he missed that because he was facing the wrong direction. Again, this is tragic. Ow, okay. I got hit. I was not ready for that toss. No, I wasn't. You, yeah, okay, you're casting. I just not that situation. Don't listen to pun. He didn't even enter this bracket. Just don't be in the situation, man. Just don't be in the situation. <laughs> Yes. And that was three. Wait, that was three, right? Just don't, just don't fuck up. God, stop talking. Anyways, we have our champion here. Um, well, well, first off, congrats to Braven. Clearly the top level expert here, but unknown 003. Also being our other resident uh, Lethal League homie. In fact, he's the one that introduced me. Well, Introduced me to actually playing the game. He's the him and Sandy were the first ones that bought me in this game. <laughs> Just get better, man. <laughs> the downplay is real. <laughs> yeah, man. Just don't. Just don't fuck up. Oh my god. There's an angle tool. Okay. Here, hold up, real quick. What I need is for here. You and you get on the mics right now. And then you two on. Uh, whoever's watching on YouTube, by the way, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. But real quick, I want to have the experts talk about the game while I get TO stuff prepared. I don't know why you put me on, Mike. Like, like I said, I don't even play this game. I played one, hey. but I understand stuff about this game. You know, it's a just great game. It makes sense. You know, just boot up the uh, boot up the angle tool. Calcu there's 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 a calculator for it. Just learn every single angle, and you win the game. I haven't learned all of them yet, but I know enough. You just need to know enough. It, it, you understand the angles, and then you can understand how it accelerates because it is set. Like you do need to get certain hits and ways to accelerate it. We were seeing how you were doing your self pass offs on the wall. You just knew the distance and timing. Just boom, boom, boom. I could hit it into myself a couple times because you Good. knew the angle. You knew how much speed it would get from those follow ups. It's the, it's easy stuff to remember. It's a very calculated game. You just it's just very fast, so it's hard to calculate it. Yeah. If this game like were slowed down, it would be chess. I I actually don't want to say I'm playing chess. I'm not I'm not thinking that much when I play. It would be chess if you had three pieces. I'm playing like bullet chess out here, except there's also like super moves, and I'm cheesing everything. It's chess, and you have three pieces. But those three pieces happen to be pawns, queens, and kings. True. So that's it. You it's have three queens. That's it. And you have multiple queens. Yeah. <laughs> You're just playing three queen chess. Like, you have a minute on the clock. But Little League's a fun game. Check it out. It's like 20 bucks off sale. And it's like, it's kind of dead. But, like, you can find some matches on PC. And even, like, not playing it super seriously, the game has just consistently been fun. This game built a rep to be fun. And that's why it got a sequel that, that has more expanded mechanics. Yep. Today. And it has it's music by the guy that made music for Jet Set Radio. Yep. If you like Jet Set Radio music, listen, play this game. This game has that aesthetic. It down has Hideki perfectly. Naganuma. That's what this song is. It's from it. Yep. Funky beat. Nothing like it. And then also, uh, the voice actor for Candyman told me uh, he wished me victory, so I couldn't lose. Yeah, yeah, that's just how it would be. It's just, yeah. All right. Do you think if I DM Wendy Lee and say "Wish me luck in Poyo Tetris 2," she won't block me? I think if you like had on and off conversation with her for two years, then maybe she'd reply. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just some random nerd DMs her. Just she's probably like, I don't care. <laughs> Oh wait, there's a cut. I forgot. Street Fighter 6 entrance. How, how much money y'all making, Street Fighter? Man, look how much Melty made today. <laughs> Shout out to Melty. Shout out to Sam Show. Shout out to GGS. Give your strike. I made more money than Meeples. No, I didn't. I lied. Oh, you lied. I might. Wait, I could get that 3.5. All right, so now my goal is to make more money than Meeples. More money than Ronald. Let's go. I'm coming. Always getting that pay. 
Jenkins tournaments are the best, y'all. We play all sorts of games for these. Legitimately, if you have a game that you play that is genuinely got like a skill behind it, odds are we'll run a bracket for it. Like straight up. These games aren't like just pure nonsense. They do have skills and it shows in the players who play them. So if you've got like a weird game that's like fun to play and has like depth to it, by all means start like bragging about it. That's why I played so much Poyo. Man, this song's good. Day. Yeah, uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed those matches and all the tech talk. I'm actually going to listen to it later and uh, make sure that I can get the proper run 